So, who got trampled today? Yes, another American holiday happened today, folks. It's known as Black Friday, the follow-up to Thanksgiving, because we're a duality-based universe and culture, so you can't take the good without the bad. And while yesterday we were trying to be thankful and peaceful and hopefully bring forth some type of positive energy to the world, at the end of the night, what did we find out? that Mrs. Brady passed away and that we were heading into Black Friday, which is considered one of the most violent days in American history every year, outside of the BET Awards, whatever those are, I'm, I'm not too sure. And uh, I've been told that it is and yet is not a joke. I, you know, white boy, I, I, don't, I don't know any better. But... With every Black Friday comes a lot of bitching and moaning from the collective community, and I'm one of them, and here's why. I, I really wanted to wait on this to see if maybe it was just a glitch. If maybe, for some reason, my system just wasn't picking up that for my WWE 2K17 game, that I had purchased the season pass, which meant that, you know, everything coming out... Aside from the pre-order for Goldberg, because clearly that had to be purchased no matter what, that, you know, every other form of DLC was going to come out and was just going to automatically be on the collective. Because, you know, season pass means full access, right? Wrong! The NXT DLC added on is still a $9.99 purchase for three characters. Now, I'm more than certain that... Not characters, these are real people, obviously. What I mean is three more playable individuals within the game. Those being Nia Jax, the first monster female heel wrestler in a long time, the ever-charismatic Apollo Crews, or as I like to call him, the prototype to ACH, and then someone they've been marketing the entire time since before the release of the game, Shinsuke Nakamura. You mean to tell me I still have to throw more money at you to get my Nakamura for the year? I, I mean, I, I don't get it. The Legends DLC that came with it as well, that, however, I didn't have to throw any money at, so you bet your ass I scooped that up as quickly as possible bringing back the legendary Eddie Guerrero, this time with two separate entrances. One with his famous lowrider in it, which is great to set up for, like, title matches if he's the one defending the belt. Or not, you know, maybe he wants to make a grand entrance. Lie, cheat, and steal to get the belt and then ride off into the sunset. Then, of course, you have a few people that haven't been around in a while. Greg the Hammer Valentine and Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Yeah, the Dream Team. I, I don't think they've been in a game. In, well, Greg Valentine, I know for a fact, he was in the Legends of Wrestling lineup, but I don't think Brutus Beefcake has ever gotten to be in a game. So, him, the Bushwhackers, Larry Zabisco... I mean, this is actually getting a nice, cool lineup. And I do find it interesting that the previous year, Eddie Guerrero was easy access, like, right off the disc, and you could download Dusty Rhodes, and then they flipped it this year to where Dusty was on the disc and Eddie was later released. Kind of amusing. I mean, I, I, I thought it was great, honestly. And that just kind of... that. I, I thought that was great. But yeah, the, the Legends lineup has five guys in it. You know, the uh, one of the others being Psycho Sid, who hasn't been in a game in a while. In fact, he was in... Not 2K13, WWE13 before 2K took over. And I believe something dealing with electricity for the fifth guy... Tatanka. 
That was the last guy. I'm an idiot. Yeah. Tatanka, who definitely hasn't been in a game since maybe the late 90s on, on Genesis and Super Nintendo. I think so. I think that's the case with Tatanka. Man. I mean, they're bringing the legends out of the woodwork. Which is also going to make a lot of the dream matches that just clearly are never going to happen due to age and so on and so forth. But, enough about me ranting. Here's some funny news to lighten your spirits because, you know, we're going to need a lot of laughter before 2016 is over, even if some of it might come off as maniacal cackling. Speaking of maniacal cackling, though, who here loves Cards Against Humanity? If you don't even know what that is, why did you click on this channel? For those of you who are intelligent, with a sense of humor, and do not feel the need to be a special snowflake, of course, once again, their Black Friday deal is quite interesting. Where in past years, you've literally acquired a box of shit if you opted. Or, <laughs> well, they... They've been quite interesting, that's for sure. This year, you can literally throw your money away because they're making the holiday hole. For every dollar you offer up, they will spend an extra couple of seconds digging. There's already been so much money thrown at them that close to the next two days, they're going to be digging that hole. We don't know if they're going to go wide or if they're going to go deep, but the fact of the matter is, there's video footage of it. Go to Cards Against Humanity. Go to their website. They're digging. And they're digging that hole, like, now. So, what a great way to wrap up the year. I mean, you know, some of us threw away our votes. <laughs> we can throw away our money, too. So, yeah. You know what? In honor of Mrs. Brady, I think I'm going to go have a Snickers. And probably watch Machete. For those of you who saw the commercial, you get the reference. But anyway, have a wonderful evening.